Imagine looking down at your own leg and knowing it doesn't belong to you. You can move it, feel it, see it, but deep inside, your brain insists this isn't mine. And every day, the only relief you can imagine is cutting it off. This is body integrity identity disorder, which is one of psychiatry's most puzzling and controversial conditions. Welcome back to Psychiatry Rewritten. Today, I'm talking about a disorder so rare it isn't even in the DSM, but so profound that it has changed the way we think about identity and the brain. Body Integrity Identity Disorder, or BIID, is a condition where people feel an intense, lifelong desire to amputate or paralyze a healthy limb. Not because they're psychotic, not because they don't know reality, but because their body and their brain's body map don't match. This story begins in the 70s. Sexologist John Money, yes, the same John Money, infamous for his work on gender identity, published a case of what he called a potomnophilia. He believed the urge to amputate a limb was tied to sexual arousal. But as more cases appeared, it became clear that not everyone fit that explanation. Many people with BIID reported no sexual dimension at all. Instead, they described a mismatch, a sense of being overcomplete. One person said, I knew my left leg below the knee did not belong to me. My body image stopped above that line. By the 1990s, clinicians like Michael First reframed the condition as body integrity identity disorder And in the 2000s, brain imaging added a shocking twist. People with BIID showed abnormal activity in the right parietal lobe, which is the same region tied to phantom limb syndrome. In other words, their brain's body map literally didn't include the unwanted limb. Most patients describe the feeling starting in childhood. They don't wake up one day and want an amputation. It's a lifelong shadow. Commonly, the left leg is the focus, but arms and other limbs can be involved. People are otherwise rational, grounded, and know their limb is biologically theirs, but it feels alien. It's important to note, this is not psychosis. These patients don't believe there's a parasite or an injury. They know it's healthy. They just feel like it doesn't belong. And the suffering is intense. Some people attempt dangerous self-surgery using dry ice to damage tissue so doctors are forced to amputate, or even turning to firearms or saws in desperation. And tragically, some die in the process. There are three main theories. One, neurological. The parietal lobe fails to map the limb correctly, so the brain literally doesn't recognize it as part of self, as part of the body. Two, psychological identity. BIID mirrors conditions like gender dysphoria, where there's a deep identity mismatch between the physical body and the inner self from childhood. And number three, psychosexual. In a minority of cases, amputation desire is linked to arousal, which is the original idea. Most experts today lean on the neurological identity model, BIID as a brain-based mismatch, not delusion. Here's where things get controversial. Should doctors ever amputate a healthy limb In the early 2000s, surgeons in Scotland performed two elective amputations for BIID patients. Both patients reported relief, but the backlash was enormous. Critics said it was mutilation. 
not medicine. The truth is, there's no established treatment for this. Medications rarely help. Therapy can provide support, but doesn't erase the urge. Some researchers suggest that surgery might, in rare cases, be the only way to resolve lifelong suffering, but most medical systems forbid it. So the debate continues. Is this like gender-affirming surgery aligning the body with identity? Or is it an unacceptable harm to a healthy body? Medicine has no clear answer. Body integrity identity disorder forces us to ask uncomfortable questions about what it means to belong in your body. It shows us how fragile the brain's sense of self really is, that a small error in wiring can turn your own limb into a stranger. It also reminds us that identity isn't just psychological, it's mapped in neurons drawn across the body and sometimes painfully, those maps don't line up. For people living with BIID, the world often offers shame or disbelief. What they need though is compassion and maybe someday an answer to the question, whose body is it anyway? That's all for this topic. Comment if you've ever heard of this condition or if you have any experience with it. And thank you for being here, and I'll see you next time. Bye.